Sorry, I'm a little bit late in the holidays. Thank you. Uh, but I'm here now. I was doing some prep for 3D printing, so I've just got a bunch of different models ready. Some of which will take more days to start printing from soon, others will be pretty quick. Farewell, my good friend. I've done that one and that one.
Alright, just give me a second. What was like, what the hell are those lines in the sky? They're boat masts. Ship mass, I should say. You know, coral's just weird sack animal bones, right? So, this is a bit like a cemetery, I guess. Ugh, you do not want to know what their ghosts look like. Oh, jeez. I'll leave it at that. You know, coral's just weird sack animal bones, right? So, this is a bit like a cemetery, I guess. Ugh, you do not want to know what their ghosts look like. Oh, jeez. I'll leave it at that. I think I did that one. Five left, five. We find a way to find out to run away. 
Kosten nur euch schon Das Breach ist in einem Zoo. Wow. You know, I'm endlessly fascinated by animals. A bit like walking plants, eh? Except with more, you know, fluids. What a word that is. That bloom looks like a penguin. A breach near the sea. Ah, oh, I do love the ocean. It's a shame you can only see it in three dimensions. All the quasi tones and endless number forms. Actually, I take it back. Your meat brain would explode if you saw this. more guy You walk in here on three skeevers arguing over a dead body and decide you want a family squabble of sorts. You see, one of these cozies went and killed Vareda. Problem is, none of us are about to go treasure. Ancestor of ours, Jadiel the Keelhauler, cashed her loot around here. If you grab the chest for us... Now, I know... I'm known as Igeki Ratbite. It... You saw my face, right? I got bit by a rat. It was a big rat. Don't worry. It's dead now. She was an explorer. Sailed from Atmora all the way to Yakuda, despite half her crew falling mad along the way. She discovered new lands, new cultures. Shame so few hear of her. Her greatest adventure... Right you are. Fled Piandania after quick as a flash. Passed the blood of my blood... 
Well, someone had to kill her. Vareda didn't just up and die at the tender age of 28. Stop walking, you fat netch! You're just as likely the one that killed her! I did this then? When you're the one greedier than a starving hawker? This is going nowhere. We'll never find the treasure if we keep killing each other. Yeah, I ain't done that now. So I've done that one, that one. Let's just that one. Please, be careful where you step. Look, I apologized, and then I apologized again. What more do you want from me? How dare you? Oh, boy, indeed. More ruins. Hmm. You know, every stone tells a story. I mean that literally, by the way. That wall over there won't shut up about how much it hates rain. 
Let's find this bridge and get out of here, eh? Yeah, I haven't done the one at the bottom. Clipped off a stake. What a fine place for a breach. All sorts of ghastly things happened here. I can tell you that. I'd shudder if I had shoulders. I'm kidding, of course. Mortal fear is hilarious. Uh.
I get dark all of a sudden because I'm in this area or because I'm pretty sure it's an area I've got some sort of shag that over on top. Back west, uh, east. Back to I haven't mucked out the correct part. Created by some vulgar wood elf who thinks being raised not just a garden, the very art of gardening. Eslian is waging a. Stranglers are a stubborn breed. Hacking them up would only be weeks ago. The wood elves, I am the former. Occasionally, there are. He called our wilderness sterile and arctic. Those monstrosities are native. Hear a breach nearby? You can't, can you? Count yourself lucky. Sounds like a like a swarm of bees bouncing around in a tent bucket full of sleigh bills. And sort of like that racket bards make. my feet for nearly an hour and I have just about had enough of course they're missing my fool husband let our prized hound off her leash to frolic along the beach into the wilderness I should be. go traipsing off into the woods what do you take me for I am precisely as concerned as I need to be but I don't see how that's any of your business a prized waxing terrier it took 16 generations of careful selection to produce a breed distinct from the common Glenumbran Terrier. The region is known for its impurity. Merely a hobby, but one I excel at. My darling...
Alright, the canyon was considered part of Somerset. Right. Welcome back, Initiate. Well done. Well done indeed. You already seem well versed in the cardinal virtues of our order. Oh, speak with Josarja. She will want to know that the Augur is safe, no doubt. Yes, I know all about its sudden disappearance. You're back. I hope the auger didn't give you too much trouble. The most valuable gift. Knowledge. Please, use it carefully. When I learned my first spell, I accidentally banished... First rate work in Somerset. Really. Our seers detected more of these time breaches. This time in the Iliac Bay... Yes. Take this map of the region. More Sigic Sea... Well, not... The Sigic... Some days I... Yes.
Right, I can't stop was on an endless mission. Yes. Well, not in the tradition. I meant wrong way. Peace if stupid high elves won't talk to him. Mmm, such a Hey mate, not now. A new face in the court, and how pleasant and interesting it is. We do appreciate the return of our brothers and sisters to the Blessed Isle, even if our nobles count you among the other newcomers. Now then, what business? Cidic Order? We have not heard from that body of August sages in quite some time. And then word comes that we should expect a visitor. Why does the Right Master send you to see the Sapiarchs? Ah, the business that Razumdar spoke of. We assumed the Queen's cat exaggerated. He does purr as well as he growls. Very well. We'll send word to Lilandril to give you access to the college. Just tell the right master we expect to see him soon. Of course. We have nothing else to do but talk about the many wonders of the Blessed Isle. Let us tell you all about the Sapiarchs, the Divine Prosecution, Altma recipes, and perhaps even the schedule of performance for the House of Re You do? It's good we consider you as charming as you are interesting. The Sapiarchs teach us and guide us. Of course, and we shall alert the portal master to accommodate you. Once in Did not lock her. The new 
news from the Queen's eye. Could it really be true? Mm -hmm. I do not want to fall off that. Construct a llama. Ah, oh, damn it, that one had a researchable build quality. The divine prosecution requires strong-minded assistance. Keel spitter? These sailors and their pet names.
Honestly, I think she plans to do something rash. She might even attack the guards. Ugh. Hey. I've checked over Lilindril from top to bottom, and there's no sign of the Court of Bedlam. I can't get the Portal Master to let me go to the College Compound, though. Have you brought permission? Good, good. I was about to turn that insignificant book dust into something small, wet, and slimy. Wrong. It would have made matters worse, but it might have brightened the dark mood I've been in. No, the mission is more important than personal matters. I'm sure Lathan will turn up, eventually. Lathan and I met when we were initiates of the Sigic Order. We fell in love and married, had a daughter. We had... It happened ages ago, after a long illness. We lived on an island filled with the most accomplished sages of our age, and there was nothing that could be... No, it wasn't like that. When the Right Master first learned of the possible Daedric threat, Lathan volunteered. Lathan's reports became less frequent. Then he stopped sending them altogether. I'd know if he was dead, but he could be a prisoner. Not now, please. I really must prepare for tonight's lecture. Besides, only those with permission may enter the College of Sapion. So you're the luminary the proxy queen wants me to treat with kid gloves. And I suppose the arrogant Sigic is with The compound has been purposely isolated to serve as a sanctuary and place of study. Research and scholarship require solitude and quiet. Just follow me and step onto the dais. By the seven sacred texts, who has dared invade this place of learning? I've got this. You talk to that sapiarch. This is unheard of. Attacked in our own sanctuary? This is terrible. Please excuse my present state, as I am distraught to be under... Happened? Oh, it isn't over yet. There was no warning. Daedra filled the co... The Crystal Tower? You need to speak to Lanatil, sapiarch of Archaeology and head of our college. According right. to the maps I studied, the labyrinth is this way. I'll return to Lelondril and warn the guards. Good idea. Perhaps I should accompany you. There's more to this than a simple daedric incursion. I felt a strange sensation when we were... Sometimes. Probably has something to do with living on a displaced island and being part of the Sigic Order. We knew the three daedric princes were a threat. Even scholars have ways to defend themselves. Which reminds me. I can protect myself, but I'm not much good in a raging... By the stars! This place is enormous! Hmm.
I'd like to explore this compound one day, when fewer Daedra are about, of course. Mm -hmm. Moscow. We should be able to reach the upper levels through there.
I'm not sure if I've come across one of those before. Oh, uh. Hear voices up ahead. No more sages need die today, save the ark. Just give me the diamond keys. The resolute diamonds are not mine to give. Nathan, stop! Valsrin, no, damn you! Damn it, here's nothing to be bigger. You and your companion arrived in the proverbial nick of time. Now, if you wouldn't mind, who in oblivion? First, the cultist leads an army of Daedra into our compound and demands I turn over the Resolute Diamonds. Now, you... That's impossible. We would know if the tower's defenses had been breached. But it would explain the disasters currently befalling the... A reasonable plan, but access... We appreciate your aid in this matter. Before you head to the Illumination Academy, Perhaps you can have your friend get that cult. Every 11 years, two Sapiarchs are selected to undergo a long and extensive ritual to attune them to the Resolute Diamond. The Azure Diamonds are a matched set. Who can say, in addition to their sentinel duties, Anial and Image, that's our standard. Let's leave these Sijiks to their work. We have a college to put back together. Feeling he'd end up being an enemy. Fighting all his own. I can't believe I was concerned about the welfare of my husband. To find Lathan here, threatening the same a simple spell of binding. His attention was so focused on the Sapiox, he wasn't prepared to de I almost You there. Tell my darling wife to release me, and I'll ask Mathala to kill you quickly when the New Age spinner saved me from fools and altruistic adventurers. Valserin turned her back on me. Don't presume to judge my actions, you insignificant flea. 
I am an Earl in the Court of Bedlam now, chosen personally by Mathala to represent... What a prick. in the first time so far I can in real quick. Stay strong, Emil. I'll get you out of this. Secure the prisoner in the fighter's guild. Off you go. from space free now.
in the Thalmor's midst. It's a good thing you were there. Five Claw. You always arrive just when Raz needs you most. Don't After worry, Raz my... spoke to the pretty Sigic Oriandra, whispers reached me about the illustrious Illumination to, Academy. They said that the court of Bedlam hunts a sapiarch there, so Raz had to come and see. Didn't expect all the crazy people, though. So the Crystal Tower really is in danger. This one finds that so hard to believe. The Crystal Tower, <laughs> it's a bastion. A sim now Raz sees why the court of Bedlam seeks these particular sages. Very well. No need to twist this one's tail. This way. Follow Raz. What is that approaching? Some strange sea beast. Prepare to be boarded, mates. New arrivals? Sorry, they usually let me know when new academics are going to arrive. I'm sure I can find a way. Sure. They arrived a few days ago, but only Sapiark Hanayel stayed. She's working on a book or something. Wouldn't think so. <laughs> The Sapiarch's letter. She's hidden a coded me. Hanael mentions something isn't right here. That she plans to hide in a quiet room. Very smart. It seems the Sapiarch knows that someone is hunting her. The we need to find the books and the podiums. If Raz has deciphered the meaning of her code correctly. Let's hope we can find her. That is disturbing.
a vanishing bookcase. Raz likes this clever sage. My illusion spell. Who, who are you? If you're the person that's been following me, I warn you, I'll... I knew I wasn't imagining things. I told Imadril that we were being followed. If the head of the College of Sapiarch sent you and told you we guarded the Resolute Diamonds, it must be a serious matter. Something involving the other... Daedric princes, you say? As in more than one? Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound very good. Imadril went to King's Haven, not too far from here. The old ruins. He loves to poke around in that place every chance he gets. Uh, Raz will explain things to the pretty Sapiarch and make sure she returns safely to Lilandril. Oh yeah, totally. You go find the one in the ruins. Well, probably I'm not trying to do so. It's from awesome, there. I like that guy. This is where I wanted to go. Where's the bloody stairs? Later. Red will busy, lady. The cell was there. I'm so confused. Must have been guiding me towards the exit. you filthy you're the first thing i've encountered that isn't a slavering beast or drooling savage begs the question what you're doing the fool i followed out here i lost track of him after these wretched goblins stole my pack their research for medzi's recital at the illumination academy i've been transcribing them for weeks oh, the 
goblins toss. What are you? Some sort of saint sent to deliver me from digging through Maluk's squalor? Well, two searchers are better than one. We'll meet near the eastern. I could, but I don't know why you'd want to know. Officially, scribe. Unofficially, nanny. <laughs> the man's got all the good sex. Some epic about the great battles between the High Elves and the Goblins that Medze plans to perform at the Illumination Academy. I'll admit, it sounded much more intriguing before I had to listen. It's either find these notes or start from... Right. The fuck the mind are dead.
I don't know. That's the last of them. I'm not going to give you some my savior routine, but thanks. This is not how I planned. Look, I've had enough of Mense. Humming. Naliara, stay strong. Your salvation is at hand. Though, if you could call... I finally girded myself with the courage of my... Naliara, quit? Oh, I suppose I cannot fault her. Capture by vile goblins was simply too much for her deli... Oh, well, that's great. I nearly... I mean, I just... The site is closed. <laughs> you must not frequent Daggerfall, friend. <laughs> I am Medze the Maestro, King of Singers, Serenader of Kings. Well, I was getting... All the stories... Yes. The answers must lie in these ruins. Oh, Naliara, if only you'd wait. Some kind of trade ledger? Oh, how mundane. It seems like the elves who built... Hmm, this looks like scouting reports. Land surveys, goblin settlements. Why was the water source of such interest to them? These look like plans for resettlement. Elven... And Goblin. They were proposing a land trade with the tribes. It seems the offer was refused. Take me! No worries, I've got you. I think. You there! 
Burn the webs! Quickly! Quickly! The Fala's damn webbing. It's in all my nooks and crannies. Thanks for helping, though. No! Save the Dawnstar gem! The spider poison, it's spreading fast. Take this, Resolute Diamond. Then you know we're Tower Sentinels, guardians of the diamond. Mafala, prince of the secret arts. She sought my diamond, but also seemed very in Tell her Naya, I'm sorry. Need you back in Artaeum immediately. Find him in Kapora Tower as soon as you can.
Damn it, that's what I get for not paying attention.
thank you for returning so promptly. Before we get to other matters, tell me about your search for the Tower Sentinels. Valserin recounted the events at the College of Sapiox after she returned with Lathan, but I'm eager to hear your report. Mephala, curse her name. Along with her cohorts, Clavicus Vile and Nocturnal, she corrupted Lathan and threatens all of Nern. But the Sapiarchs no longer have an attuned pair of key bearers. That will make it harder to access the Crystal Tower. That Golden Knight is one of Meridia's champions, I believe. It seems that one Daedric Prince is trying to help us. That gem is the Dawn Star, from the Dawnbreaker Sword. Why take the Knight prisoner, though? What are the princes playing at here? Hmm? Oh, yes. Without two attuned Tower Sentinels, the Sapiarchs can't use the Diamond Keys to open the way to the Crystal Tower. The attuning process usually takes a year and a day. And I have no idea if they can hasten the process. It involves my missing memories. I've recalled an important detail, and I need to show it to you. For now, let me compensate you for your efforts so far. While you were gone, I have been scrying through my own memories, trying to find the missing events that will remind me where I hid the heart of transparent law. I believe I have discovered something significant. Not exactly. While scrying through my memories, I saw half-formed thoughts and splintered recollections. I saw myself enter the Dreaming Cave beneath Kapora Tower, and I held the Heart of Transparent Law in my hands. I opened a portal, but I can't recall where it went. Something intentionally blocked the destination from my sight. I entered the portal, and time passed. Then I was back in the cave, and the heart was gone. Will you accompany me to the Dreaming Cave? The answer to where I hid the Heart of Transparent Law resides in the Dreaming Cave. Or, more precisely, through the portal I opened and once traversed. But therein lies the problem. It's best if I showed you. Meet me in the cave beneath this tower. In off the ball. The Dreaming Cave lies beneath Kapora Tower, where the various threads of Magicka and other energies come together and pool like water running down a chain. Trained Sigics can use that energy to open portals to anywhere in Oblivion and beyond. Perhaps. I honestly can't remember. If not for the success of my scrying spell, even this minor memory would still elude me. I just figured out this is not enough. God damn it. I'll show you what I mean when we go down to the Dreaming Cave. Oh, I had that attack uh, that long to recognize the voice. Just the result of my scrying spell. It allowed me to project images from my mind for further study. To look for details my memory alone may have missed. I watched one particular sequence over and over. The one where I took the heart into the cave. As I explained, the scrying allowed me to see myself take the heart into the Dreaming Cave, to watch as I opened a portal and stepped inside. Then the image faltered and skipped a beat. It ended with me back in the cave, but the heart was gone. Valserin refuses to leave Lathan's side. She's trying to get him to explain how he could forsake our order and pledge himself to a Daedric Prince. I hope she can see her way through this. We're going to need her before all is said and done. That's not my tale to tell. They both rose through the ranks of our order together. Fell in love. Had a child. The rest... Well, that's personal. 
I still find it difficult to believe that the Lathan I know could betray us. Welcome to the Dreaming Cave. Here, we can open paths to other realms. This particular path is blocked by Daedric magic. I have an idea though. <laughs> Take the Dawnstar gem from your pack and hold it up to the barrier. Just as I surmised, the barrier, it withdraws from the Dawnstar's power. Dawnbreaker's gem contains a portion of Meridia's power, but on its own it isn't strong enough to dispel this barrier. We need to find the Dawnbreaker's sword and make it whole once more. We know that at least one Daedric Prince has attempted to help us against the triad of Vile, Mephala, and Nocturnal. I think it's time to approach Meridia and solicit her help in this endeavor. We need to locate a true believer, one of Meridia's cultists. If anyone can direct us toward Daedric activity on Somerset, it's Lathan. Talk to Lathan. See if you can convince him to help us find one of Meridia's priests. As we've seen, the triad of Daedric Princes was able to interfere with the Golden Knight's efforts to reach us. If I attempt to use the Dreaming Cave to contact Meridia, chances are they'll notice and stop us. We can't risk tipping our hand just yet. The barrier doesn't block every possible path, only the one that I saw in my scribe memory. The path that leads to where I hid the heart of transparent law. As Katora's magic continues to fade, I believe my memories will return in time. I don't think so. Each member of the Cabal possesses a unique talent. Katora dealt in mind magic. When you killed him, that magic was lost to the Cabal. No. Now we must concern ourselves with the triad of Daedric Princes. Just as you were attuned so you could travel to and from Arteum, we use the same magic to prevent Lathan from leaving the island. He is free to wander where he will, but he can't leave. I believe he's outside, talking to Valserin. Lathan was a good man. I have to believe he still is, despite pledging his allegiance to Mafala and the Court of Bedlam. Besides, we need to contact Meridia. He's our best chance for getting in touch with one of her priests.
never planned to come back here. The memories are painful. I still can't believe I had to find you and drag you back. Was our time together really so terrible? You still don't understand. Our daughter will never again see this view. Or hold my hand. Or... Or... Anything. What a fool I've been. I was worried sick about Lathan while he was out cavorting with worshippers of Mephala. I lost a daughter too, but you don't see me abandoning my friends and family. I didn't... We're Sigic monks. We don't have anything as barbaric as a dungeon or a jail. Instead, we adjusted his attunement spell to make it impossible for him to leave Arteum. Lathan is free to wander the island as befits a friend of the Rite Master. My husband was well-liked and respected. He and the Rite Master often talked and conducted research. Aikesis is probably as devastated by Lathan's betrayal as I am, but he isn't vindictive. As long as Lathan behaves, he's free to roam the island. Good luck with that. Maybe you'll get something useful out of him, but I doubt it. Lathan was stubborn before he became an Earl in the Court of Bedlam. Now he's stubborn and insufferable. I suppose it's too much for a prisoner to expect a few moments of solitude with his thoughts. Ah, well. So, what can I do for you? Has the right master sent you to interrogate me? Doesn't he trust my wife's talents in that regard? What a curious question. Do you actually believe that all Daedric cultists know each other? I hate to disappoint you, we don't. Although I can tell you that there are a lot fewer of the Lady of Life's followers now than there were before. The Court of Bedlam has been actively eliminating the competition, as it were. Oh, I wasn't personally involved. But I have it on good authority that the Meridia Shrine, hidden to the north of Shimmerine, has been disposed of. Or, who can say? I imagine that one or two of them scurried down a dark hole before the blade fell. Like rats, her followers are. I believe I have said everything I'm going to on this subject. Now shove off. Go. That sounds like a wild Nixad chase. Didn't Razumdar mention he was investigating Daedric cults on Somerset? Maybe you should go talk to him. Razumdar has been investigating Daedric activity across Somerset. He's your best chance for finding a follower of Meridia, despite what Lathan has intimated. When last we checked, the Eye of the Queen was in Shimmerine, conducting his own investigation into the Court of Bedlam and other Daedric activity. If anyone in Somerset can point you to a priest of Meridia, it's Razumdar.
thousand pardons, but the battle reeve requires your prompt appearance at the proxy queen's court. If the queen's eye wants to chase his own tail by following Skeever's scribblings, fine by me. Anything to keep him out of our Step business. away from that scribble, newcomer. Take a breath, Bailiff. It had to be one of the lesser races. No Altma, even a newcomer, would deface a beautiful wall like that. Razum Dar claims it's a message of some sort, but I just don't see it. Hmm. The cat mentioned he was working with a newcomer. But if you ask me about Daedra, I'll toss you down a pit. As I told Razum Dar, Somerset banished... Do I look like a Khajiit keeper to you? He said something about the scribbles. I'm just glad Razum Dar is far away and not bothering me. You, on the other hand, are way too close. Move along, or face the wrath of the divine prosecution. Fuck you. doesn't care who you worship. He just wants to know if your cult was attacked recently. Periyai would welcome you. Our prince accepts all kinds, and you'd be our first Khajiit. You'd be our first anything, actually. <laughs> He's not here to join. He just wants information. the ability to know where to find Raz when Raz has need of you. <sighs> Getting information out of these Periyai idiots is like squeezing milk from a stone. This is why Raz hates dealing with Daedric cults. Interesting question. Raz has learned that the court of Bedlam has been attacking the cults of other princes, including those devoted to Meridia and Azura. Now, usually if crazy cultists kill each other, it's good for Somerset. But this feels wrong. You do? Well... Raz trusts you, so I can tell you about an old friend who attends Meridia ceremonies in the Eton near Grotto. Raz doesn't approve, but it's her life, yes? This one will make contact and meet you outside Eton near. Sorry, this painting blade on the, um, cross -mash. A little bit more thin, but then it's on tight spaces. Raz was planning to head up north to Etonir after talking to these Periyad imbeciles anyway, to check on his old friend. The court of Bedlam's attacks on the other cults were particularly vicious, and this one worries so. War. That would explain the attacks. Raz isn't an expert on Daedric cults, but this doesn't sound like their usual behavior. This one thought they just sort of left each other alone. That's a terrible thing to say. No, Raz refuses to believe it. Raz's friend is a survivor. She's got to be all right. This one will go and make contact. Make sure she's fine. Then we'll meet you outside Eton Near. That's as good as I'm going to get for now. Raz hears things. He heard about the attacks on the rival cults. He heard that the court consists of followers of three different princes. 
And he heard that even though the High Elves constitute the majority of the court's members, there is one Dark Elf. A single Dark Elf among a group of High Elves? Seems significant to Raz. Besides, everyone seems to fear her, but this one could not dig up any details. We should keep an eye out for this Dark Elf, yes? It's sticking on my skin. It's going to take way too long. Um,
Over here, Five Claw. This is Raz's old May friend, Meridia's Radar. light shine upon you. Raz told me you... Meridia's sword of light. I'm not sure I understand. Even if I wanted to help you, my prince blessed you with her presence. That's a story I'd love to hear sometime. Enter the grotto and look for our cat. Raz thinks this is a bad idea, Sadara. I want to help, Raz. Maybe this is the reason Moridi allowed me to escape when the rest of my sect was attacked. I knew I shouldn't have let her go in. Idiot. Well, she... I suppose why? No, I... Not entirely she... Bea? What the hell is Bea doing here? No time to chat. I have to get back to Seeks. He must be worried sick.
Rise is not fond of Daedric cultists, but no one deserves to die like this. The court of Bedlam are cowards. They struck us down without war. Master, what did those bastards do to you? Look what they did to his body. They defiled Meridia's shrine. That light, that is not natural, yes. Meridia, she goes to us. My devoted priest, a loyal soldier, and an intrepid instigator. Step closer and bask in Meridia's light. Why is this statue talking to Raz? Should it be doing such a thing? My followers murdered. My shrine desecrated. The other princes, this so-called triad, they must answer for these insults. They dare to steal my vessel? To hold prisoner the agent I put oh, in the in that dude. Hands. My light shall not be snuffed out. My, my vessel just thinks of itself as the mortal called Darien Gautier. In reality, Darien is my will and my power. The knight had a single purpose, but somehow you complicated matters. Now the knight actually cares. The gem cannot grow a new sword, but I can add to its power. Now you can use it to locate Darien. Meridia, my prince! She's gone. I can't feel her presence any longer. Raz is certain that the nice statue will be fine. In the meantime, let this one take you someplace where you will be safe. Raz has seen many things. Where sharks, flying tigers, where sharks on top of flying <laughs> tigers, but a talking light? Oh, Queen Irene will never believe it. How much too much honesty is never a good thing. How do we battle Daedric princes? Raz supposes an army would help. An army always helps. Alas, Raz rarely has an army to call upon when he needs one. And that involves traveling to places Raz never knew existed before all this started. <laughs> no. Raz will see Sadara to safety and then do what he can to protect Somerset. Oh, good man. Like, probably, like, I'm getting too old for this shit. I see that Erothal made it back in one piece. Thank the hist. The guild might have docked my pay if she wound up dead. Good. I'll get these tokens back to the Thieves' Guild. Honestly, this is what... Can we get moving now? I'm just itching to get to our next assignment. The itching. I think I knew I was the thief because I'm the thief good member. It's just like what's I still am.
I see signs of the court's work throughout Somerset, but nothing of the court itself. I think the court of Bedlam has fewer members than we imagined. Enough of this for now. Let's see what our friend has learned. You return, but without the Dawnbreaker. Weren't you able to make contact with Meridia? Forgive my impatience. The court of Bedlam is eliminating the cults of the other princes? To what end? You said you were able to make contact with Meridia. Then why didn't she give you... I suspected that might be the case. I'll send Valserin with you into Mafala's realm to rescue the Golden Knight. A disturbing development, to be sure. But we'll have to hope Meridia can protect herself. I'll open a portal to Mafala's spiral skein when you're ready. Mafala's realm can be daunting. But I'll be with you the entire time. Remember to stay focused on your destination at all times. Otherwise you could get lost. Are you there? I think we were separated. Body around just a giant cave. I assume it's around this direction. Something stalking me in here. Oh no!
something really slow. Well, it's hard to get off. Ah, oh, damn it, I just snapped it.
Oh, that's really stuck on there. The cut is on. Not too bad though. Again. A little lightheaded, but I'll be fine. Now that we're together, we can focus on finding the Golden Knight. And if that beast shows its mandibles again, I'll be ready. Something with the body of a giant spider, and, well, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it was a creature right out of my nightmares. Just what you'd expect in the realm of a Daedric Prince. No matter, let's go find the Golden Knight.
Right, I'm gonna go put this in the freezer because apparently a trick is that you make it really cold and it just pops right off. So give me a second, I'll put this in the freezer. Pull it out when I make dinner. You Stein means in terms of Stein Spider. That's the path revealed by the Dawnstar Gem. But I wouldn't feel to be able to use a for that. <sighs> that wasn't a pleasant experience. Dismal setting. That must be the golden knife. Mafala won't leave something as valuable as Meridia's Golden Knight unprotected.
Took you long enough. I expected this rescue hours ago. Your gratitude has a hollow ring, Knight. Oh, I can be very grateful, my lady. Maybe we should just leave him. Well, sure this right is awkward. You're probably wondering how your old friend Darian became Meridius champion and got stuck in all this sticky webbing. You know, a little it's a funny story, really. Uh, probably better if I wait to tell it until after we escape from this realm. Hmm? Guilty as charged. Uh, Meridia sent me to offer my assistance, but those other princes they kept interfering, and then I was dragged into this pit of spider harlots. Look, we can catch up on things later. Right now, there's one small problem. We can't just walk through a door. I knew my friends wouldn't abandon me. Especially not you. Oh, right, the gem. That makes sense. I perfectly understand. You need Meridius Champion, so here I am. And... Let's get out of here. Meet me outside. I can open a portal to the Dreaming Cave, but the ritual will take time, and will more than like. I won't be able to assist you while I'm cast. Let my voice penetrate the barriers between here and the Dreaming Cave. longer. Oh. Whatever those recent skill improvements were, it seemed like they were barely worth it. Because I, um... A lot stronger now. Valserin, take the knight to the healers. We'll deal with the sword later. In the meantime, I need to speak with our friend. You and Valserin entered Mephala's realm and rescued Meridia's golden knight. I couldn't ask for more, my friend. I hope that would be the case. The golden knight will need to recover some of his strength first, though. Who knows what tortures Mephala and her creatures inflicted? Who can say what drives such beings as these? To work with the sea load, To pit their followers against the cultists of other princes? To launch attacks into rival oblivion realms? Knight Darian needs to recover his strength first and restore the Dawnbreaker. Then we can attempt to unblock the path and s While the Golden Knight recovers, we must make preparations for breaching the Daedric Barrier. Since I can't remember where that particular pathway goes, we'll have to be ready for any contingency. I also need to tell you, my memories return slowly, a little at a time. While you searched for the night, a memory came back to me, a woman's voice. I suspect that the language is ancient. It may actually predate the languages of Tamriel. I feel that the memory is connected to the barrier in the Dreaming Cave. I hoped you'd say that. I sent Oriandra to my study to review my memory and see if she could translate the ancient words. I even suggested a scholar she could contact, an expert in ancient languages and obscure dialects. No, 
I just feel that the words contain the key to where I hid the heart of transparent law. I do know the language is not native to Tamriel, or to anywhere on Nern for that matter. Forte, the Grand Maestro of the House of Reveries. We've shared re From another planet, is it? Derived from Aeliad, though I see a possible correlation to Daedric linguistic patterns. Who? Oh, don't you know not to interrupt a sage when she's deep in concentration? I suppose the right master sent you to see how my research was coming along. I've listened to his memory over and over. Not yet. The master of the House of Reveries sent me his work. It relates to a similar language seen in the ruins of Eben Stadmont, but I only understand a little of it. Ancient languages and battle magic, to name just a few. Lathan betrayed us, and I don't trust him, but I've reached a... I'll let the right master know what I proposed. He may not like it, but he's always telling us to utilize every available resource. I think this qualifies. I have no idea, but I suppose it had something to do with his daughter. Eldaway was a beautiful girl, smart, sweet, and full of energy. She brightened the entire island. When she fell ill, Lathan and Valserin grew apart. Don't you think we tried? The right master, Valserin, the entire conclave. But nothing helped. She grew weaker and weaker, and then she was gone. Only if you want to guarantee that Lathan refuses to help us. Haven't you seen them since they were reunited? I forgot to take the notes. <laughs> This attentive when our daughter actually needed you. Lathan, I... Oh. I need to go check on the night anyway. Val, wait! Damn it. Yeah, done fucked up there, mate. By the spinner's holy webs. When did I become an insufferable arse? Valserin didn't deserve that. Elder. Is this some new attempt at interrogation? If so, I'm not familiar with the technique. Very well. Intriguing. I've never seen this dialect before. I can translate it. But I need more to work with. I need to examine the original tablets found at... According to those notes, the writing is carved into a massive stone. I doubt you'd be able to carry it back here. All right, you've piqued my interest. Nothing nefarious, if that's what you're asking. Just enter the forest. According to the scribblings of this grand maestro forte, Spinner's Web, that's a pompous title. The forest is a maze filled with all kinds of beasts and daedra. I don't see how that's relevant to our interactions. Not in the least. Still, my you and Ikesis. 
always sticking your noses into places they don't belong. I suppose I can appreciate that. But kindness won't help you in the coming war. Kate, I... I'm not sure what emotions I feel right now. But when my daughter was dying, when she was crying for it, nothing nefarious, if that's what you're... I don't think she was buried in her work. I think she was trying to figure out a way to save the daughter. I'm not sure it was, but it wasn't to both. But Jesus Christ, it's hard for some people. It's working perfectly. It's almost as if I'm standing right next to you. I can feel the powerful magic that per The maestro's notes said the ancient words were etched into a massive stone. I expect you'll need to travel deeper into the forest to find... I'm not your tour guide. Refer to the book and use the room again when you locate the ancient writing. I mean, I was just there. Wherever could that blasted mercenary be? Greetings, my friend. And put simply, I found records of an ancient temple. Somewhere travelers become lost. Thank you for accepting. Oh no, of course not. The Mage's Guild still requires me to accompany him. Well, being Telliger's assistant is informative in many ways. The ruins with it's old. Even As I said before, not much. The nature of this forest. <laughs> We're looking for inscriptions. Alert me once you see any gibberish carved into stone. Yes, this is exactly what we're looking for. Why, it's almost as if I can hear the words. Sel, Ra, and Yon. Eastern Temple. Daedra? I don't have time for distractions. Could you hold them off while I finish translating? further up. Quick, follow me.
Have you found the inscription? Hmm. The Grand Maestro mentioned date. An excellent. Inscription. You found it. Something isn't right. I feel our connection breaking up. It's nocturnal. Oh. Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. I never expected to see you again, but you shouldn't have come here. These words of power, they aren't meant for mortal eyes. I'm an Earl in the Court of Bedlam now, so believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. That doesn't matter. What matters is that I want to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. If Lathan translates the language and gives Mephala the secret, she'll gain an advantage that could threaten my Prince Nocturnal. Speculate all you want. I'm here to give you a gift. Mm. Nocturnal has authorized me to provide you with the meaning of the mysterious phrase. It's in all our best interests. For the the right phrase the Right Master remembers, the words he keeps hearing. It's a spell to retrieve something hidden. I wasn't sure how I'd feel if I saw you or Naryu again. Balmara seems like a lifetime ago. And I'm a new person, since committing myself to not... Arteum is only as isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed our prince's plan to... The court isn't evil. We wouldn't be a part... A new life. More like a new prison. Serving at the feet of a Khajiit to become a slave to the High Elf Queen. No, that's not an existence I could... Think. I felt abandoned. Lost. That's when Nocturnal offered to comfort me. Not the Morag Tong. Not a Khajiit guardian. Not oh. a Belief doesn't make something true. You're a fucking idiot. Tell the right master. It's a spell of retrieval. Finally. I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl. A spell. Interesting. And somehow connected. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. I just wish I could have spent a few moments studying that inscription.
back here. Let's try this again. We're back together. Come on, this forest has to end somewhere. Seems the rumors are true. Eben Stadmont truly does twist around you. Perhaps... Aha! Now let's see... That voice again. Para Ekne. Past... Pathway? Daedra again? Ugh, we don't have time for this.
Ara Bolisto, the past revealed. before it takes care of us. the stars. I think he's coming too. Am I in Aetherius? We of the House of Reveries have no names, only masks. But you can call me Fletch, because I specialize in the art of the bow, see? Eben Stadmont... I'm sorry, but I, I just don't remember. I must have come here the night... Daedra? Mara's elbow, that doesn't sound... Is that you? Fletch, what's happened? The whole troop is looking for you. Grand Maestro Forte? Why, I had no idea you were an Ebon Stadmont. Grand? Oh no, I'm simply Maestro Forte. Hardly worthy of the title Grand yet. We're in the past. It appears you've saved Fletch from the brink of death. It brings to mind the story of Tamarian, who of course was saved by the Nereids of Daedra. I had no idea. Our watch did report some strange creatures prowling about at night, but I've heard of no other attacks. The only thing of note I discovered within the temple is a glowing stone in its main chamber. I've yet to translate the stone's inscription, but it may be a track excellent. I know this is strange, but let's get to this stone. Perhaps it can answer some questions. The House of Reveries in Eben Stadmont? Why wouldn't I have heard about that? I thought that was Marvin Twilight. voice. At first I thought I was imagining it. Future's door. Drat. Well, a House of Reveries expedition I've never heard of. Grand Maestro Forte rebuffing his proper title. And the temple room. It means we ventured somewhere we never should have gone. Mm -hmm. The past. I know it seems far-fetched, but remember that stone we found? That's my theory, and I'd rather not explore further to find out. Affecting the past has far-reaching consequences. It makes me wonder... I can't be sure, in all honesty. But we have to try. Otherwise, we'll be stuck in the past. This stone should lead us... It is quite intriguing. Grand Maestro Forte is the head of Somerset's greatest acting troupe, the House of Reveries. But I... The research I've been using to help translate the language here came from an expedition that occurred around this time. 
Perhaps Maestro Forte wrote the very notes that led me here. Well, Fletch was very close to death, and I recall seeing bones in our present time, right where I found him injured. Most likely. As I said earlier, changing the past has far reaching consequences. For all I know, I've been hearing this voice since I first started translating these inscriptions. It. Oh, it is rather odd for a mysterious language to speak to anyone who reads it. The misdirecting nature of it. I'm not sure what to tell you. Who's there? Rise up, sis. It's. It's you. Um. Years and years, and I never could find you. And here you are. So the stone did send you to the future after all. I had feared the worst. That day I... I was trapped within Ebenstadmont. For decades, I'd been studying this language and desperately searching for a way out. I must stop myself from ever going back in time. I've been wasting my life within this cursed forest. The Southern Stone. That's the key to... Wait... What's that? Is that... Fletch! Ah! I'm sorry, dear, but your role has been cut. The temple. You must go back. Go through the temple. Weird. <laughs> I'm the one that winged Fletch. Such an effort to escape me. I suppose I have what I need. Well, I suppose it's curtain call. You finally figured it out. Well, and Derwin figured it out, didn't she? But hey, you... Ah, but did you kill me? Truly? Not even an accomplished healer could bring me back. And yes, I did take part in... And Derwin was the leading lady of our production. It was up to her to uncover the mysteries of Eben Stadmont. To find the true potential of its hidden... Sadly, yes. And so my part must end as well. I put on quite the performance, though, don't you think? The poor, confused soul! But... Yes, our heroine should be just outside, if I remember correctly. After s I told you the very first time we met, I'm Fletch. What did Anderwin call her? Ah, the s don't bother asking me. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I bet 
The language here, of course. Yes, all our heroine needed was the proper motivation. to the temple. The temple is a trap? A book? Why, this is my handwriting. I've been trapped within this forest for something trying to... My goodness. This is... Yes, I agree. I suppose I did succeed in this expedition. The notes you've given me are written by my hand after all. Though of course that me won't exist now since you've stopped me and... I'm sure these notes will give me more details. The best thing to do now is share our findings with the Mages Guild. Let them know how dangerous this forest truly is. You know, it may be silly, but I suppose I came here to step out of his shadow. If I could be the one to crack Eben Stadmont, well, perhaps Tellinger is the one... I suppose I did succeed in... Oriandra, you should have consulted me beforehand. She saw an opportunity and she took it, Tychesis. Silence, Lathan. Need I put you in chains to remind you of your status here? I'm sorry, right, Master. We should have asked permission. It won't happen again. This escapade of yours could have been disastrous. What were you and Oriandra thinking? Trusting Lathan to help us translate the ancient language. Now nothing you discovered can be trusted. We're back to square one. I observed what I could through Lathan's connection, but it seems to me that the Court of Bedlam is just trying to confuse us. What do you think? Should we trust Nocturnal's Earl or not? Then we're no better off than we were. Except now we have the Golden Knight. Let's proceed and hope for the best. Perhaps I'll... No matter whether Nocturnal's Earl spoke truth or lies, we need to recover the heart of transparent law. I'm sure I hid it somewhere beyond the Daedric Barrier. Was there anything else before you go and check on Darien? I remember I tried to resist the Sea Sloat's compulsion and was able to maintain a sliver of control. But as for revelations, I remember... I remember using what control I still possessed to foil Katora's plans. I recall forging a bargain with someone. Someone I have known. That, my friend, would be a mistake. Somerset's ancient defenses have withered since the transparent law crystal was broken and the heart removed. Every moment the crystal tower remains incomplete, another protection falls away. I'm sure that it is. But in that certainty, we gain an advantage. 
You'll be at my side when we locate the heart, and you'll be there to help me defend it from the court of Bedlam and their princes. Your wounds, they're just... gone! I've always healed fast, Val. I can call you Val, right? Give me a moment. I'd like to chat with our friend. Of course. Then go to the Dreaming Cave. The Rife Master's ready to begin. I wanted to thank you again for getting me out of Mephala's realm. It wasn't anything like I originally imagined. Oh, and I wanted to let you know... No thanks to the Sigic healers. I thought they were going to slice me open to try to figure out what makes me... Well, me. This might sound like a strange question. In fact, depending on how you answer it, it is a strange... Yeah, it was terrible. One moment I'm fighting Molog Ball, and the next I'm stuck in the colored rooms without any kind of explanation. I tried everything I could think of to get out of there. But nothing worked until Meridia gave me this mission. I thought I did. After the big flash of light, I remember floating. Then there was more light. Meridia was there. She told me I was in her realm. Other than her lectures. Oh yeah, she said I was supposed to help you stop the Daedric Princes to keep them from reaching the Crystal Tower. Problem is, she didn't tell me how we're... Fixing the Dawnbreaker was surprisingly easy, by the way, especially considering that I had never repaired a Daedric artifact before. Questions? Not like a test. Being in the colored rooms was fun at first. Those golden saints were pleasant to look at. Their personalities leave a lot to be desired, though. I've had better conversations with the floating rocks than with those. I ask myself that question every day. Meridia said I had a purpose, but she refused to help you. She talked about you a lot, as a matter of fact. We've already stopped one Daedric Prince together, right? How hard can it be to stop three? I wish I knew the answer to that. I remember my father well enough. He was a Breton, but I never met my mother. In fact, now that Meridia only ever told me I was her vessel. I can't say I remember volunteering for that job, though. Who I am, what I am, why the amazing good looks and roguish charm if I'm just here to stomp on Meridia's enemies. I mean, I guess if I was a prince, I'd want a dashing champion, so I can't blame her for that. Okay, I am going to leave it there for now. I'm going to hop off, make dinner, do some clean kitchen, do all that fun stuff. But then I'll be back on for some more um, Elder Scrolls. <sighs> <sighs> um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 uh, Yeah, so I should be back on later tonight. Till then, see you later.